When we look at the Ummah today, by and large, we have excelled in one aspect. Some of us are those, some of others are those who probably have a certain passion in one aspect of the faith, which is meritorious, which is good, which is noble. You're a great neighbor. You're an amazing neighbor. You take good care of your neighborhood. But that very same person who's a brilliant neighbor, which is part of our faith, when we enter his own house, I'm afraid he's a horrible husband. He's not a good father. He's not a good sibling. He's not a good business associate. So we're excelling on one and we're failing on the others. And we share with you some anecdotes from the life of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, who was this all rounder in society. A man who was a family man, a social man, a political man, a human. In English, they say there's a big difference between human being and being human. In human being and being human. So one day the Prophet وسلم, was sitting with the noble companions. The hadith is in Bukhari. And he said, Man asbaha minkum sa'ima. Who's observing an optional fast today? And Abu Bakr anhu modestly raises his hands. It is me, O Prophet وسلم. And the next day, the Prophet, and then day after the Prophet وسلم, says, Man minkum miskina. And did any one of you have some time to find a poor person and feed a poor person before coming to this gathering? And again, Abu Bakr anhu raises his hands and he says, It is me, O Prophet. Man minkum marida. Did any one of you have the time to visit a sick person? and visit him, encourage him, motivate him. The Prophet has taught us so amazingly in one narration. He said, when you visit a sick person, we talk of psychology today. Look at the psychology, look at the prophetic formula. The Messenger said, when you visit a sick person, then just give him some hope, some encouragement, some motivation. Because your kind words won't prolong his life, but will add value to, rem the, to the remaining days of his life. It will give him hope. It will encourage him. It will take him out of his shell and his depression. Anybody visited a sick person? Again, it was Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Did anyone give charity today? It was Abu Bakr. And the Prophet said, When these attributes are found in a common human, then surely nothing but Jannah and Paradise is his abode. He وسلم, then said, فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الصَّلَاةِ دُعِيَ مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الصَّلَاةِ وَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الصِّيَامِ دُعِيَ مِنْ أَبْوَابِ الرَّيَّامِ وَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الزَّكَاةِ دُعِيَ مِنْ بَابِ الزَّكَاةِ If a person was particular and diligent and passionate and religious about his prayer, on the day of Qiyamah, he will be ushered through the doors of prayer into Jannah. And if a man was very particular about fasting, he would be brought in through the door of fasting, Rayyan. And if a person gave charity, he will be ushered through the door of charity. And then Abu Bakr radiallahu said, O oh, Prophet وسلم, is there any person in your ummah who will have the privilege by virtue of his goodness that he could enter through any door? And the Messenger وسلم, said, yes, and that's you, Abu Bakr. Yes, and that's you, Abu Bakr. And that's my message today. We need to endeavor and we need to try and toil to improve every aspect of our life.